Oh my god, Mikey, why did you do that? I can't open my eyes, I'm trying. Hey, why am I so wet? Where did we end up right now? We fell into our river. Oh my god, hey JJ, I hear you. It seems that what I did didn't work very well. It looks like we really fell into our river. Let's try to float up and open our eyes. Whoa, Mikey, we're definitely not in our river, not even at our pier or lake. Is this really what I thought? Are we in a real open ocean? Yes, it looks like it. And we even ended up right in another world. It's definitely not our world. I do not know what happened, but we are definitely far from our home. Very far away. Don't worry, JJ. Of course I have an idea about this. I have a workbench in my inventory. It's with the help of it that we will craft a boat and sail on it, so it will be much better. Hmm. Do you have a couple of oak woods to craft a boat? Maybe I have a little bit. Okay, it's good that you were able to save it and we have it. It really will give us the opportunity to move effectively across this ocean. We just need to be careful. Okay, hold the workbench while I craft us a boat. The main thing is that it does not fall to the bottom of this huge ocean. Great, JJ. No problem. I'll support the workbench. I have strong turtle arms. Don't worry even if it falls. I'll be able to swim after it like a turtle. Great. Fine. Everything worked out. We made a boat and now we can move around this ocean without any problems. Okay, in that case, let's swim on our boat, Mikey. Stop, you can see it too. JJ, hey, it's a real shark. I'm in complete shock. It seems to have noticed us and wants to eat us and our boat. Rather, let's swim away from it faster. Wow, I see her too. She's definitely hungry, in the middle of a lonely ocean. We're lucky that we managed to craft this boat. We're sailing away from her. It seems she definitely wants to catch up with us. She won't succeed. We can hide from her. Rather, JJ, we almost swam away from her. It seems she realized that it was too long to swim after us. We did it, hooray! Yes, we managed to break away from this hungry shark. But wait, wait, you see it too? I'm in complete shock. Mikey, this is the real tsunami in the ocean. This deadly whirlpool drags anyone. Oh my God. I see it too, JJ. It's just gigantic. I've never seen anything like it. The most real, realistic huge tsunami. Swim away from it faster. Otherwise, we'll end up right inside it. This ocean definitely didn't like that we appeared here right in the middle. Whew, it seems to have worked out. It passed us by. We were on the verge of being sucked inside. Okay, let's swim away from it as far as possible so as not to run into it again. One hour later. And so, it seems that we have been sailing for quite a long time on this ocean, JJ. Do you see something on the horizon? Wow! You asked this question in time. Because right now, I see a real uninhabited island with palm trees. We sailed. This is our stop. Let's see what's interesting on this small island. Cool. It's been a long time. But we finally found something similar to Earth. But it seems we're still in the middle of a huge ocean, and we're far from home. It looks like someone was here before us a long time ago, see? Yes, I see it. It looks like someone has lived here for a long time. But now there is no one here, and there is nothing interesting here either. Nothing that can somehow get us out of this real ocean. Okay, in that case, let's stay here for now. I'm tired of sailing this boat and it seems like a hole has started to form in it, and we'll have to craft a new one. It's all because of that shark. It bit through the bottom of our boat. Okay, we'll figure something out. Now don't worry, Mikey. Whoa, stop. Oh my God, has it really come back? Mikey, immediately look back. This giant tsunami has become even bigger. I'm in complete shock, it found us. Whoa, wait, what did you just say? to sail away from here. We won't have time to craft a new boat. Oh my God. It looks like we have no choice but to get sucked into this tsunami. We won't be able to get out of here any other way. Okay, Mikey, we'll meet later. It looks like it's time to face the tsunami face to face. Whoa, Mikey, I see you. It turned out we're inside a giant realistic tsunami in the middle of the ocean. It looks like it's going to take a long time. God, how loud it is here because of the noise of the water. It seems to make me dizzy from this. Ha <laughs> ha, JJ, it's a lot of fun. I thought it would be much scarier, but we're really inside a tsunami. It seems now we're sailing together in an unknown direction. Maybe he can get us out of here and we can go home. 
Whoa, I hope that happens, but for now, we're inside and we won't be able to get out of here until the tsunami finishes its cycle. It's just incredible. You and I have never been to places like this before, and again, it happened because of you, we ended up here. Yes, I'm sorry that it happened, but this is a real fun adventure for the two of us. We are really here now. Just remember how we ended up here in the first place. I came to your house and called you. A few days ago, Hmm. Oh, hey, hi, Mikey. It seems you wanted to call me. Something happened right now. Is it urgent? Oh, yes. Hi, JJ. Of course this is important and urgent. You will be shocked by what I just found on the street near our village. I saw a witch running through this place, and it seems she dropped one of her new potions that she is developing now. Wow, seriously, I didn't know about this. How did you find out all this? And what kind of potion did she drop? Maybe we should give her potion back to her. It definitely doesn't belong to us, Mikey. I know. But look how beautiful it is. I liked it. Maybe take it for myself and then tell the witch about it. Hmm, yes, I agree. The potion looks very cool, but it could be dangerous for us. Do you understand, Mikey? Can you do even hear me? I'm sure it's definitely not a simple potion. The effect it gives is very cool. You just need to read on the label what kind of potion it is. I took this potion. It says this portal potion. Wow, we can teleport somewhere. It's going to be fun, JJ. Let's try it out right now. What did you do, Mikey? Why did you do it? Oh, no! Yes, I understand that it was wrong to blow up that potion. But it was so interesting, JJ. Forgive me, please. Okay, I understand, Mikey, but it doesn't make any sense anymore. Hey, it seems that the shark that chased us also got into the tsunami. Haha, -ha, she paid for attacking us. It looks so funny. Yes, I see her too. I hope she doesn't crash into us. It can be very dangerous. Okay, it looks like we can only wait for the tsunami to stop. We'll find out where we're going this time. I really hope to get back home. Yes, I think we will succeed. We can only hope that this tsunami will bring us back. This adventure is very interesting. We were lucky to meet this tsunami in the middle of the whole ocean. I am completely shocked. The next day. Oh. Oh my god! What just happened? Oh my god! This is a real shark! Stop! We just ended up at home! Wow! I can't believe! Hey, Mikey! Look around! Everything turned out! The tsunami brought us back home! Oh my god, JJ! Let me sleep a little more! I'm tired! Get up right now and see where we ended up with you! Oh my god, JJ! Do you seriously think that we ended up... Whoa! Stop! I'm shocked everything worked out! We're home! I can't believe it, JJ. Hooray, it worked out. I thought we'd stay forever in that ocean and with the tsunami. Yes, everything worked out. All that remains is to release that shark back into the ocean. Hey, Mikey, don't you think that the weather has become somewhat strange today? There has been quite a strong wind and rain for a couple of days. There has never been anything like this in our village before. Yes, that's for sure. JJ, the weather has become too aggressive lately. Is there really a strong storm coming to our village or something like that? Hey, this is a villager. It seems he is seriously scared. Let's find out what happened to him. Haven't you heard? Very soon a huge hurricane will come to our village, along with a tornado that will demolish everything here. We urgently need to come up with a plan how to find shelter. One hour later. Oh, hey, Mikey. Is this villager right? And a huge tornado is coming to our village. This tornado is not so huge. I think it is not too dangerous for us. But it is better not to approach it. I told you, JJ and Mikey, this is not even a tornado yet. This is just the beginning of what we can expect in the next few hours. We urgently need to take shelter. Oh, it looks so mesmerizing and scary. JJ, it looks like the hurricane really promises to be big. I think nothing terrible will happen to us. We just need to lock ourselves in the house and we can get through it. Hey, JJ, I'm the only one who will definitely be scared. Do you mind if I wait out the storm at your place? Yes, no problem, Mikey. A villager can also wait out this natural phenomenon in my house. Just close the door so that the hurricane does not reach my house. Phew, all the windows are closed. We will wait here. I think nothing terrible will definitely happen while we are in my house. Okay, whatever you say, JJ. A few moments later. And so let's see what's going on outside now. Oh my god, I'm in complete shock. It's just a giant tornado. I've never seen anything like it in my life. Hey, the wind won't let me go any further. The hurricane is trying to carry me away. Help me, JJ. Oh no! 
God, no. Mikey was swept away with the tornado. What should I do? I can't leave my friend in trouble. It looks like now I have to jump right into the hurricane. The wind is too strong. Go ahead, Mikey. I'm coming to you. The wind does not let me get closer, but it also sucks me inside. I hope I will not lose sight of Mikey. It's time to go with the flow of the wind. Lord, it's just a very giant tornado. Hey, Mikey, I see you. We met. I won't leave you here. It's too dangerous here. Try to follow the flow of the wind. We're inside the epicenter. We can't get out of here anymore. Wow, God, JJ. I see you, too. It's good that we're together. But it looks like now we're flying together with a tornado. Look how many different blocks it sucked into itself. I hope they don't fly into me. Don't worry, try to dodge them by sailing downwind. It can be very dangerous, but we need to try to fly almost to the very top of the tornado. It will be much safer there than at the bottom. I've never been in the center of a tornado before. It's so cool and dangerous at the same time, Mikey. Thank you for not abandoning me. This tornado abruptly lifted me into the air and I couldn't do anything else. The strong wind did not allow me to escape. Together we can survive here, okay? I'm trying to climb higher and higher to keep us safe. That's right, JJ. The blocks keep flying around us. I hope they don't take us down. I wonder how long the tornado will last. It looks like we'll be carried very far from our house. Where will we end up? And how will we find our way back home? Who? I don't even know, Mikey. I think we will always find a way out of any situation. We can only hope that we will not fall into the open ocean where it is difficult to survive. Usually tornadoes come from there. I hope everything will be all right with the villagers too. Yes, they were most afraid of this tornado, but it will end sooner or later. This situation makes me laugh. We are flying inside a giant tornado. It is not clear where, but it is a fun adventure for us. Yes. JJ? Yes, it looks like it is unknown how much longer we will fly inside it. We just have to wait for it to stop, Mikey, while we can rest a little. The next day. I'm in complete shock, JJ. I thought a tornado would bring us to some desert or ocean, but definitely not into outer space. It's just incredible I don't have any words to describe this event. Yes, I'm shocked too, Mikey. Hey, it's a villager. He's alive. Look, how did we end up in space? I want to go home. Mom, help me. Okay, I think he'll be fine. And so, Mikey, what ideas do you have? We've been blown so far away that we can't see our planet in space. It looks like we have to figure out a way to return home in the middle of open, almost empty space. Yes, it's definitely not going to be just JJ, but we'll definitely come up with something. Don't worry about it. Hmm. You know, JJ, that brilliant ideas are emerging in my head, and it seems I have one of them. How can we save ourselves? Whoa, okay, what ideas do you have to find a portal gun to return home or something like that, but there's absolutely nothing here. Look around, Mikey. Stop, calm down, JJ. You're wrong. Look at how many fragments of his world are now here with us. Everything is simple. We will assemble a small station from the debris and blocks, build a rocket and return home on it. Whoa, this is just a brilliant plan. Look, you've already been able to take one block of grass. Okay, let's start putting the blocks together to create a station and a rocket. Your plan should work perfectly. It's time to start right now. We have a lot of work waiting for us. Yes, that's right, JJ. Grab absolutely all the blocks that you can touch. Soon we will be able to fly back home. We only need a little time and effort to do this. The next day. And so, Mikey, it's been about a day. I'm already confused. I don't know how much time has passed. I don't understand. In space, we managed to create a small station to build our rocket, and it's already under development. Yes, that's right. I am creating a full-fledged engine and wings for our minimalistic rocket. And it seems that we are succeeding. As you can see, Fragments of metal and other things should be enough to build a full-fledged rocket. Yes, I see you also found the necessary tools. We have many different things that we managed to find in space, and many of them we did not need. How many fishing rods that giant tornado managed to throw into outer space. However, it does not matter. Okay, now we need to make the main part of the rocket. It will take a lot of iron! I think we can get it, because there should be a lot of it here in space. We should be able to do it. No problem, Mikey. I'll help you with this. But before that, we need to improve our tools so that we can get iron blocks and make ingots out of them in the oven.
one hour later. And so JJ, so we finished building our rocket on which we will fly home. Everything is ready. We were able to collect the necessary materials. We loaded a lot of dynamite. And not only so that it could catch fire and fly in space, now we will jump right into it. And then we will launch and fly home. Yes, that's right, Mikey. How good it is that we managed to finish our rocket. I could not have thought that there are so many different details in space, thanks to which we were able to do it. But without you, I definitely would not have coped and would have stayed in this space forever. So we gathered everything here, thanks to the debris, and also with the help of other things. Okay, JJ, it's time to jump inside the rocket. We need to go home immediately. This space is so empty and boring. Okay, Mikey, the report is on, the engines are on. It's time to return to our home. I don't believe this rocket can really fly. Okay, wow, this is very cool. We managed to do everything as we planned. Woohoo! Oh yeah, JJ, we're really flying. It's time to go our home. Oh yes, today is a wonderful day to build a new house where I will live. It is almost finished. There are only a couple of stages left and that's it. Whoa, hey Mikey, what are you doing here right now? It looks like you're building yourself a new house. But for what? It looks like you're very passionate about this process. Yes, that's right, JJ. I decided to practice building houses because I will participate in a competition among the villagers. Whoever can build a starter house in the minimum amount of time will win a prize as an emerald truck. And I hope to win. How do you like my house? How would you rate it? Wow, Mikey, that sounds really cool. I hope you can win this contest. And so, your house looks pretty enough. I think you should definitely participate in this competition. How much time did you spend building this house? Hmm, it seems like in two hours. I still had to get the resources for this house. And it seems that I'm missing a little. Hey, JJ, do you have some brick blocks so that I can complete my wonderful starter house? Of course, Mikey. I have brick blocks and they are in storage in my house. We can go and I will be able to give them to you as much as you need to complete the construction of your house. Uh, okay, in that case, let's go there right now. We don't have a minute to waste. And so we have already come to my house. But wait a minute, Mikey, what is it? Look into the distance. It's some kind of strange portal and there is a wandering villager next to it. It's very interesting. Let's go there right now. Of course, JJ. Let's go and find out what's going on there. It seems a wandering villager has brought an unusual thing. We need to find out from him what it is and what may be inside this unusual portal. Just look at it, it's big enough and unusual. I wonder where it can lead us. I've never seen anything like it. And where does this traveling merchant get all these things from? It will now be much more interesting than practicing before the competitions of builders of the starter house between the villagers. And so, hey, hi guys. It looks like you're JJ and Mikey. My name is Bob and I'm a traveling merchant. It looks like you're interested in the portal that I brought from faraway places. Oh, that's right. We came to find out what it is. It looks just amazing and unusual. This is a realistic rainbow portal. The entrance here costs 10 emeralds. There are various realistic dimensions inside it. If you want to get there, first pay. Okay, no problem. Hey, Mikey, I only have five emeralds with me. Do you have five more so that we can go inside the portal? Oh, yes, I found it. I also have five emeralds. Okay, traveling merchant, take 10 emeralds to enter. Great, thanks for the emeralds, guys. Oh yeah, and one more thing. I do not guarantee that you will be able to return back and never let the animals of this world into this portal. Understand? Oh, of course we get you, traveling merchant. Don't let any animals into your rainbow realistic portal. Look, it's a cat. Where did she come from here? I hope she doesn't want to jump right into the portal. Hey, cat, you definitely can't enter inside the portal. We urgently need to jump after him to get him out of there. He can't be there. Rather ran to teleport JJ. I'm shocked how this cat could jump into this portal. JJ and Mikey help bring him back. Otherwise, it will end in very bad things. Okay, we'll do it. I'm in complete shock, okay? I'm jumping into the portal. One hour later. Oh my God, Mikey, that blow was very soft. Hey, where did we fall with you? Where are we right now? I'm in complete shock. I can't believe my eyes. Hey. Wow, JJ. It looks like we ended up in exactly the place that the traveling merchant was talking about. We appeared in the real world. 
Wow, that's exactly how JJ... I can't believe it, okay? In that case, we need to be careful. Our task is also to find the cat that jumped into the portal. He should be here somewhere. Hmm, but I don't see him here right now. Look how realistic everything here is. It looks like we got into someone's room and we're standing on someone's bed. Wow! Yeah, okay, let's start looking for the missing cat. Okay, JJ, we need to get off this bed to look around the whole room. Jump after me. Let's start looking for this cat. I'm sure we'll find it. Yes, and I hope so too. Okay, let's start with that part of the room. Okay, let's looking, but whoa, stop, Mikey. Look at this realistic mouse. Hey, where is it running to? Run away immediately. I do not know where he came from, but he wants to eat me. Oh, please, please run away from him now. Do you hear? Whoa, what did that mouse say? Who was he running from right now? Oh my god, you see it too, Mikey. It's a realistic cat, and I think I figured out what kind of cat it is. I can't believe it. Oh, yes. It's our cat from our Minecraft world. It seems when he jumped into this portal, he expanded into the most real and realistic cat from the real world. Hey, and he doesn't want to eat or play with us. I don't like his look, JJ. Oh yes, it looks like you were right, Mikey. Rather run away from this evil cat. I'm shocked he wants to play or eat us. Why did he become so gigantic and we are small? We urgently need to escape from him, otherwise he will catch up with us faster. Mikey, we need some kind of escape plan. I found a way out. I have a ladder. I put it on this big sofa. Rather JJ climb on it. This aggressive cat won't be able to get us on it. I'm sure of it. Phew, Mikey, we were finally able to break away from this cat. I still can't believe that this is exactly our cat from our Minecraft world. How did he become like this? That's what the traveling merchant was talking about when he forbade any animals to jump into this rainbow realistic portal. And it can really be dangerous for those who live in this real world, okay? I don't even have any ideas how to return it to our Minecraft world. One hour later. Okay, it's good that we found you again. A real mouse from the real world? It seems we've all climbed high enough. This cat from our Minecraft world won't get us here. I hope so. Okay, guys, I'll help you. I have a potion with which you can go back. But for that, I'll ask for a piece of delicious real cheese. Hey, it seems I have such a mouse. You can take it away, and you will give us this potion. We urgently need to return to our Minecraft world. Wow, this is a real delicious piece of cheese. Thanks, guys. I'm so hungry. Okay, take your potion and come back and take your cat. He wanted to eat me and I definitely don't like him. Okay, no problem. Thanks for the mouse's help. We ran back to our world right now. Hopefully we'll try to bring our already realistic cat back to our world. Good luck. Okay, Mikey, let's rather use the potion to put up a portal and finally go back. Our cat must regain the same appearance that he originally had when he jumps into the portal so everything should work. Great. And here's our portal, okay? We just have to wait for a realistic cat and jump right into it. Um, Mikey, turn around immediately. It seems it's him. We need to run away from here urgently. Okay, he came for us. Rather JJ jump right into the portal, he should follow us. Let's do it. I'm afraid that he will be faster than we teleport faster. Oh my god, how unlucky they are with this cat. How good it is that I was left here alone with my piece of delicious cheese. Hey, if they would come more often to give me such delicious cheese, maybe I would make friends with them. Phew, finally Mikey, we managed to get back. Now the cat has to teleport in his usual form. It was a fun journey, but dangerous. Oh yes, I agree with you, JJ. It was dangerous. Oh no, why didn't it work? Why didn't he turn into an ordinary normal cat? Hey, it seems he wants to eat me. 